Now, while there are ways to get a four bar mechanism to approximate a straight line, there's much better ways to do this. And so if I jump back to my basic four bar sketch, let's look at how we can convert this to straight line motion. So all I'm going to do is delete this line right here. Select the line, hit delete, and I'm going to grab the end of this line. I just want to pull that down somewhere here and go to my constraints here, horizontal vertical, grab the end of this and line it up with this. Now if I go to the select button, identify my crank, there's my crank and slider. And that's what this is called, a crank and a slider. So let's jump out of our 2D example. I'll close out of here and open this in 3D. And I'd like you to go to your class files, and in your class files there's a folder called 4 bar to slider crank. Double click on that and open up the 4 bar to slider crank assembly. And here we are back at our basic 4 bar mechanism. Simulate motor, and I hit run. There's our basic 4 bar mechanism again. And just like on the 2D sketch, I'm going to go out and delete the rocker. And then I'd like to create a new part for the slider. So I'm going to go to Create in Place. OK, Defaults, Green check mark. And I'd like to create a part called Slider. And I'm going to go out here to Rectangle by Center. And I'll select this plane right here. And I'd like to create a rectangle up here. And before I do the rectangle, maybe I'll borrow some geometry right here. So I'll go out here to project to sketch and I'll grab that circle right there. I'm going to use that as a guideline. Then I'll come out here, maybe I'll just slide over a little to create this rectangle. And any size, let's just make that 22 tab 14. And accept. I'll slide that around and extrude this region. And I'll just push that back, say 10. And now I'll close and return back to my assembly. And I'll go out and constrain my block. I'll start with an axial align. This cylinder with this cylinder. And then I'd like to mate this back face with this front face. And the last constraint, I'd like to place this planar align on this bottom face here with this top face of the blue one right here. And it looks like that flipped the wrong way when it added that constraint. So I simply need to go up here where it says flip and flip it back the other way. Then I fit that and it should be OK. I'm going to go back here to simulate motor and let's see what that looks like. And there's our slider crank mechanism.